Hello and welcome to Home with Sarah Jane. In today's video, I wanted to share a quick flip through of the Know Yourself Systems of the Body Adventure Series. So if you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sarah and I'm a homeschooling mom to two girls, ages 11 and 14. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for stopping by once again. I do really appreciate you. Now with the Know Yourself Adventure Series, there are actually 12 books in this series. I only have the first six. I will show you images at the very end of um, the other six books in this series as well so that you can... Um, see what the systems of the body they're talking about in those other books. Now with this series, what is really neat about them is that these series, each book covers a, di a different system of the human body, but then it also covers a country. And it's just a really fun way to fit in geography. And I do wish I would have found this series when my kids were younger. This still works pretty well for my youngest daughter, um, but my oldest daughter, she's 14. She's going to be going into high school. This is a bit young. I mean, you can adapt them to make them fit, but when you see the flip through, you'll see what I'm talking about. It is set for younger kids. I believe that this series is set for kids around eight to 12. Of course, you can use this for younger kids too. It's just, um, you would just adjust it as needed. So, I mean, again, that's the beauty of homeschooling, adjusting it to make it work for you. But I did want to go over these because I thought that these were really, really neat. And again, I wish I would have found them earlier because I think it's a really great series and a fun way to learn the systems of the body and geography. So let's go ahead and jump into book one. Okay, so here is book one and book one is going to cover the five senses and Greece. Now, what's really fun about these books is that they are jam packed with so many different activities. So you'll have access to experiments, crafts, comics, word games, recipes. I mean, there are so many things in these books that go along with either the country that you're learning about or the system of the body that you're learning about. And it just makes it a lot of fun. Again, I wish I would have found these when my kids were a little younger because I think that they would have worked out so much better for us um, if my kids were just a, a tiny bit younger, <laughs> a little bit younger. So when you open up your book, there is a dear reader section that just pretty much tells you what you're going to be learning about a quick start guide to just kind of help you out. Um, one thing to understand about this series is that the lessons are not mapped out necessarily like day by day. It gives you an idea of how much time you should be spending in each little category that they give you. So just keep that in mind that this is very flexible. Um, and it's just all about, you know, a certain amount of time you put into it opposed to like a specific goal each day. So here is the table of contents for book one, all the information that you're going to be learning about. And then this is a section that I actually had my younger daughter read on her own. There's kind of like a little hello adventurer letter for your student and they could just read through this. It kind of talks about what they're going to be learning about in this book. And there's also a map of Greece and then they always add in a little bit of you know the language of the country that you're going to be studying which I think is a lot of fun as well and then again this is a section of the book where it goes into a comic book story about a couple of kids that go traveling around and they learn about you know ancient Gre ancient Greece in here and then they also will start to kind of talk about the five senses and things so it's just a fun way that kids can you know, get a little bit more information about um, what the actual subjects are in these books. So I allowed my students or my children to read this on their own over a few days, but I'll go ahead and flip through and show you what this looks like. Okay. So after the story, and again, that story isn't necessarily made to be read all at once. You can read it over time. 
So after that, you have your little learning calendar. So this is the area where it's going to help you as a teacher um, or the person, you know, doing the instruction, um, kind of map out what you're supposed to do and for about how long. So it gives you different parts. So part one is know your history. So this is where you're going to gather all of the supplies that you're going to be needing. There is a checklist in this book for you. You're going to locate the country that you're studying. And this one, again, it's Greece. Um, you're going to read the comic that's in this book. So again, this could be done over a certain amount of days, not all at once. Um, and then it says to travel to ancient Greece and know your history, to challenge yourself to know your Olympics, um, to recite certain things, explore making maps. You know, it just there's a whole bunch of things in part one that you're going to be doing with your student. And it says that part one should take you around five hours to complete. So again, it doesn't give you daily lessons. It gives you more of a time frame that you should be studying or, you know, um, going through part one. Now in part two, it goes more into your five senses. So it talks about how you'll be reading, know your five senses. Um, you know, you'll be witnessing wonderful sound waves and, you know, just a lot of things that you're going to be experiencing about um, learning about your five senses. And then it says that for part two, all of this should take you about six hours. And again, a lot of the activities and readings are all throughout this book. So you're going to go through this book a little bit at a time and, you know, use it that way. And then in part three, there's no your appetite. This is where you start getting into a lot more of recipes and things like that. I think that this one is especially fun. My kids love to get in the kitchen and cook. So this one they said should take around two hours for part three. And then you have part four. This is where you're going to basically wrap up everything that you learned about and pretty much, you know, just check out further reading about the topics that you were learning um, if you're interested. And they say that this one should take about um, two hours. So part four would take about two hours to complete. So again, this is a really, really fun way to learn. And I do like how flexible that it is. So um, again, this is the home inventory checklist. So these are the supplies that you're going to be needing to complete all the activities and crafts and games and things like that that are throughout this book. And what's super fun about this is they kind of turn it into like a little scavenger hunt, you know, so you just go around your house and you collect all of these items. You could put them in a bin so that they're all available to you um, just to make it easier. And then you go into the know your history. So again, this is the beginning of, well, kind of the beginning of part one. You're also supposed to be reading that comic as well, but it goes over ancient Greece. So you have Aristotle, Alexander, uh, the Temple of the Nymphs. So just a lot of great information in a really fun, child-friendly way. And then again, you have some more reading, but then you also have like a little worksheet here where you have to try and find some examples of the techniques um, that you see in advertisements like on TV or in magazines. Again, they tie this all into ancient Greece. You go into making maps. Know your Olympics. So again, some more reading about the Olympics in ancient Greece. You have some more information about the Olympic Games and then you have an activity here. So this is where you're going to be making a crown of your own to honor the Olympic Games winner. So again, just a fun little activity. There are worksheets. And then this is where you get into the five senses. So again, you really don't have to do this in any specific order or any specific way. You can just, you know, do this in bite sized pieces each day or even just study the things that you really want to cover with your student. You don't even have to do every activity in here. So again, that's the beauty of homeschooling. You adjust it and fit it to your student. Some more about the five senses. Now, this one is just going over your nose and the sense of smell. This one I thought was a lot of fun. You go through and you put spices in like a little bowl or jar or you could just keep them in the container. But you would have your child go through and smell them <laughs> and things like that. And this was just a lot of fun. Um, and again, here's another little activity for you. Now we're going into hearing and the ear. 
Again, there are worksheets, activities, site, taste, touch, Here's another activity. This is for touch. You get to make slime. My daughter loves slime, so she did really enjoy this. Here is a five senses scavenger hunt. This was a lot of fun. My kids, well, especially my youngest, she loves scavenger hunts. Some more worksheets. And now this is the know your appetite section where you start to work more in the kitchen and make some recipes. And then here is the further reading section. So in the further re reading section, they give you um, some information about some other books that you may be interested in that would go along with this book really, really well. And then you have kind of like a little bit more to the story that you started at the beginning of this book. This is where you get to learn um, or you get to know the character from the story a little bit more. And then that this is the next book that you would be going into if you decide to do that. And then it teaches you how to draw the character from the comic story. And then there's an answer key in the back. So all of these books look exactly like this. They're just set up with a different system of the body and a different country. So in book two, you would be going over the skeletal system and Russia. So again, these are set up the same where you have your note to your reader, your quick start guide, table of contents. And then again, this is where I allow my students to start reading the section on their own, where they read this little note to them. There is a map and again, a little bit of the language from the country. And then it goes into the comic story. So now I'm just gonna flip through this book so you could just kind of see what this one looks like as well. Again, it has the learning calendar with the breakdown of how long, how many hours you should be spending in each part. Inventory checklist. So again, your supplies that you'll be needing. And then into the history. So like I was saying, these are all set up the exact same way with just different content in them. Um, and I think that these are a fantastic way for young students to learn about the human body and about um, geography and history of certain countries. Okay, now for the other books, you have book three, which is the circulatory system and China. Book four, which is the renal system and Assyria. Book five, the digestive system and Japan. And book six is the immune system and England. Now I will go ahead and add in the other books 
again at the very end of this video so that you can see the other systems and countries that they go over in this series. Um, I just don't have them. So <laughs> I can't really show you them because I don't have them. But again, there are 12 of these books. And I think that these are just really fantastic ways to introduce um, your student to a country and the system of the body in a very kid friendly and fun way. Now these items are secular so there's no religious content in them and they are just a lot of fun. I mean even I mean I think when I use these yeah when I use these we use these in a morning basket so each month we would use one of these books and that's how I use them. Again you don't have to use them that way however you want to use them you know <laughs> however it's going to work for your your what am I trying to say? <laughs> However it works for your children, that's the best way to use them. So I just thought that these were a lot of fun and I just really wanted to share them with you just in case you haven't heard of them or if you have heard of them, but you were on the fence because you weren't quite sure what they look like inside. Now, I do know that when I ordered these, I was not expecting them to actually be set up the way that they are. So I was a little bit surprised. Um, I was expecting something a little bit more planned out, but I actually like the way that they set these books up because it does give you a little bit more flexibility. Um, it's a little bit easier to manage, I feel. You could do a little bit at a time, um, really dive deep into areas that your students are enjoying. So I did really enjoy using these books. So if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for stopping by. You have a great day. Bye. Mm -hmm.